NVIDIA drivers are always a difficult ordeal on Linux, at least in comparison to AMD. It's one thing to install the drivers on a Just Works distro like Mint, Ubuntu, or Fedora. There's already enough complaint there from many people. But how do we deal with these drivers on a distro like Gentoo, where everything is built from the ground up, including your kernel options? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Now, the first thing that you might notice is that I'm using kernel version 5.4.60. And this is the latest kernel that officially supports the proprietary NVIDIA drivers, which is the ones that we are going to be using. There is, of course, the open source Nuvo NVIDIA drivers, but they really suck. The performance is really lacking, no matter what NVIDIA GPU you're using. So if you insist on open source drivers, you should definitely consider using an AMD GPU uh, if you really, really insist on doing that. In fact, it's probably going to be better to use an AMD GPU on Linux anyway, since the open source drivers there are not just comparable to the proprietary ones, they're actually better. Now, the latest NVIDIA drivers might work on kernel version 5.8. I was actually just reading on uh, NVIDIA's website earlier today that they have some bug fixes for 5.8. Um, for me, they did work about 90% of the way, but OBS wasn't able to utilize uh, NVENC even with uh, an additional package, which I'm going to cover a little bit later. Um, it just wasn't working for me. So that's why I went ahead and downgraded my kernel for now. Maybe there will be some patches to either the kernel, the driver, uh, or OBS itself in order to fix that. But anyway, there are a few options that we need to configure in our kernel uh, before we can go ahead and start installing this driver. So we'll switch to our kernel's source directory and we'll make menu config to bring that up. Uh, now there's a few different things we're going to want to check here. The first one is you're going to want to check off the box for enabling a loadable module support. And then under processor type and features, you want to make sure that MTTR is checked. Uh, I think it's down here. Yeah, so you're going to want to make sure MTTR is checked. It should be default in most of the latest kernels, I think like uh, 5.0 and beyond. Then we're going to want to go back to the top menu and we're going to want to go into device drivers and then we're going to want to go into graphics support, which is right here. And the option that we're want, going to want to fill in here is the VGA uh, arbitration. So again, that should be automatically checked if you're using one of these newer kernels. Uh, so once you have all of that, if you already have all of these settings, then you can just go ahead and exit out uh, of your kernel configuration. If you don't, then you're going to want to enable those settings and then go ahead and rebuild your kernel. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is fill in the video cards variable in your make.conf. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I um, already have it open somewhere else. That's all right. Not actually going to be changing anything. So here you see I've got the video cards variable. So it's all capitalized with an underscore separating it equals NVIDIA. So you're going to want to fill that in uh, that way when you go to uh, set up the um, driver and then when you start up xorg, xorg is going to know what drivers to fill in to your xorg.conf. So make sure that your make.conf looks just like this. Um, and now you're ready to start installing the NVIDIA driver. And this is one of the things that I really like about Gentoo because if we go back over uh, to my browser here, you can see that there's a few different versions of this driver that we have available. Usually on a distro, you'll get two or three versions if you're lucky, but on Gentoo, we've got five. And of course, like most packages in Gentoo, there's different use flags that you can set 
The only one that I'm actually using though is this driver use flag so that it can go ahead and build the, um, the kernel module for it that will go ahead and get installed. Now, again, don't confuse this with the Nuvo kernel module. This is, that is the open source one and this is the proprietary one. So don't get them uh, crossed up, which actually brings me to the next thing that we have to do, which is license changes. So typically, uh, on a Gen 2 system, you're going to have the free license. But again, these are proprietary drivers, so they're not going to be covered under that. So uh, when you go and you actually emerge this package here, it's probably going to prompt you. Um, but if it doesn't for some reason, or just to, uh, I guess, sort of complete the tutorial, show you everything that's going on here, um, open up Etsy Portage package.license. So you can see here, this is what you're gonna need to change. You're gonna have to add this string, X11 drivers, NVIDIA driver. Um, and then there's also another one. Uh, oh yeah, here I have it open. The devutil NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. You're going to want to add that one as well. So make sure that you've got those written to your package.license. You can, of course, add those manually like I'm doing right here, uh, or you could just add auto unmask continue or auto unmask write to the beginning of your emerge command, and then it's going to go ahead and do that for you. And once you've got that driver installed, you're most of the way done at this point. You can reboot and you can restart your X session. Um, now, if for some reason X doesn't load when you enter the start X command, uh, it might give you a little bit of error output saying that uh, screens can't be found or something like that. There's a couple of things that could be wrong. If you didn't have an X session before, meaning you just had a TTY uh, that you would have from a fresh Gen 2 install or a fresh Arch install, then you might need to add yourself to the video group. You can do this. Uh, you should check using this groups command, um, if I can spell correctly. You can check using this groups command which groups your users already in. So you're going to want to be in this video group. If you run this and you're not in the video group, then go ahead and add your user to the video group. That'll most likely resolve your error. Um, another thing that you would want to check on is your actual xorg.comp file. So this should have gotten set correctly um, when you included your string for the driver inside of your make.conf. But if not, make sure that this identifier, uh, this driver, and this bus ID got set correctly, um, depending on which card you're using and obviously what your bus ID is for that particular card. So very rare that you'll have to manually update those, but just some things to check um, in case for whatever reason, X doesn't start when you go ahead and start X. So now at this point, you can check that your video card is enabled, your NVIDIA driver is enabled with GLX info, and then we'll pipe that into grep direct. And then if you get this direct rendering equals yes, then you can see that you have direct rendering enabled, your GPU is enabled, and you can also do the NVIDIA SMI to, um, to get some info about the card. So this will basically tell you which version of the driver you're running, and then it'll also give you some information about what processes are using the card, and then you can see their process IDs here, their process names, and you can see how much of the VRAM is being used by the cards as well. Um, now, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, with OBS, I was having some problems with it, not getting it to, uh, to work correctly, not getting it to work at least with NVENC, that particular NVIDIA codec. Um, not only did I have to downgrade my kernel in order to get that working, but I also had to install another application that OBS didn't automatically pull in. And there's actually a bug report about this, um, that when you install OBS, it doesn't pull in the NVIDIA video codec package. Um, I'm really not sure why, because if we take a look at this, uh, it, is a, um, it is considered a non-stable package. 
but I have that unmasked in my make.conf, so that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But anyway, just some bug that probably has to get fixed by the maintainers there. But uh, you will have to manually install this for OBS to be able to utilize NVENC. Um, probably the same thing if you're using a video editor. I didn't even haven't even uh, installed a video editor. Well, I've installed it, but haven't really tested it out yet. Uh, back when I was trying to figure out OBS, but you're gonna need this package as well in order to get that uh, NVENC codec working. So go ahead and emerge that as well. And once you do that, you'll be able to have full utilization of your NVIDIA graphics card on Gen 2. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure to share it and like it so that other people can benefit from it as well. And be sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you know when new content is being released. Bye now.